True crime or tales of shit. <laughs> Terrible talk. True crime or tales of sight. Well, to you too. <laughs> Out you here with another video. Stepping away from crime for the moment to bring you ghost. That's right. I'm going to play this video to loop. It's in my father's apartment. And what I'm showing in here are smoke detectors. Now I did show one in the vicinity over the door. I'm showing here. As you can, I should have turned the light on, but damn it. There are no smoke detectors. Coming in out here, there's one in the hallway, but I couldn't show it. But, um... <clears throat> This and another one in another bedroom. I think the only two smoke detectors in this apartment. Like I said, there's one in the hallway. There's two in the basement. And of course, upstairs in the hallway for other apartments. And that includes, I mean, that's this front hallway here. The other hallway, I'll show you if I can show it. Out beyond that door. Out right there. You see the door. You There's a basement door. That you see straight ahead. Where the door is open. And that. Is just a little foyer hallway. To get to the basement. For other tenants to do laundry. You know and access to my father's apartment. Now the other night. I get a call. Around 8.30 p.m. No. 8.06. I didn't get the message at like 8.15. So I had to go over there by 8.30. But. Due to the fact that I had this. Experience happened to me. And. Commented. From other people that had this experience. About them goddamn smoke detectors. And that's right, people. Smoke detectors attract ghosts. I don't give a damn what anybody says. Knowing that this is the only one between these three rooms. This one, the one you're looking at. And the one I walk back into. After this one. Right? That smoke detector alerts all three rooms. Out beyond that door there. That's the door, that black area. And I walk over. I didn't get a picture of it because I wasn't kind of in a hurry. I had to leave. But I only did this video to show her, you know, give a, you know, image of what it looks like in here. And like I said, out in that hallway, right near that door up in the ceiling is a smoke detector. So at 8, I got a call at 8.10 or 8.06. At 8 o'clock, I get a message. Father says, oh, gee, my, my smoke detector's going off. So I'm thinking, all right, battery must be dead. Because, yeah, a lot of them do have batteries for backup in case the power goes out. Unfortunately... And this smoke detector don't have one and is shut off. I don't, I went there and checked it thoroughly. There's no battery compartments. The one in the hallway, I believe does, but the one in the hallway wasn't showing a red light. It only showed a green light. So when it shows a red light with the green light, that means the battery's dead. And it would be beeping off, not just what my father said happened for 10, 15 minutes. No, it happened for 15 minutes it was going off. I think it went off 10, stopped, and it went off for another 5 for 15 minutes. Did some wacky shit. That's all that matters. And like I said, this one does not have batteries. The ones in the basement do... 
These are all wired through the house, mind you. Of course, battery's right. I phone when the power goes out. The one in the basement, when my brother had to change last night, because it has been going off for a while because the battery's dead. And mind you, the landlord lives out of state. But finding out this one does not have batteries or is not active is insane. Now, as I went up to this thing and looked up, it's pulled off from the wall. So I was able to reach it and lift it with my hand to look inside. There's like two boxes for powering in it. Lee meaning probably a speaker box, power box to keep it running through the electricity, through the wall, and the wire. And my father claims that he heard this one come from his room. Now, mind you, my father's partially deaf. And he has no <laughs> smoke detector in his room. He came out back and looked. I looked. I looked all over. And I said, all you got is that one, and I was showing him. And then last night... This was last night when I did this video. My brother was there and I was showing him. So there ain't no battery compartment in this one. And the other one's in the hall, but it don't show a red light. And if it was dead battery, it would still be going off. And as soon as I got there by 8.30, it wasn't going off. It was done. Off. Kaput. That's it. He hasn't called me since. And I'll be stopping there again today. But I haven't got no calls. And yeah, like I said. Now mind you. And the reason why I talk about this. And I don't like talking about this kid. But my nephew. Is living. And from the right. I mean the left of this room. Going this way. Is a door that leads into a bedroom. Over here, as you can see, a bookshelf. Now, I don't know what my dumbass nephew was doing, but he took my mother's ashes from this bookshelf, brought them to the bedroom. One night he had a dream. He told my father that my mother was in his room, spiritually wise. And where I'm a huge spirit believer, I believe it. But I never asked him, I never talked to him about it, but my father said it. And I told him, yep, ghosts do come to visit. But I didn't tell him about this yet. And where this has gone off now, and it hasn't gone off since I've got a call yet, I told him to call me if it comes back on so I can shoot over there quickly and see where it's coming from. But I ain't got a call yet. So where does this lead to my story? When I was in Meadowbrook, where I used to live, Apartment complex, alarm going off like crazy. Mind you, it's quarter of three in the morning. And where I usually, when an alarm goes off, and it ain't due to battery, it's due to the fact that a toaster we use, every time we use a stinking toaster, when the crust and or whatever and the, and the crumbs get stuck in the bottom, it releases the smoke. That sets that detector off all the time. There's no friggin' getting rid of this. And no matter if you clean that toaster, it still friggin' does it. Because when the toaster gets turned up too high on temperature and starts burning your toast, smoke comes out and you don't realize it. Because the kids went off and touched it. You told them many times, stop touching the goddamn toaster. You turn up too high, I'm gonna turn. My toast is burnt. Jerk. You think they listen? No. So one night, out of the reaction in my head and how I'm always running to the smoke detector because the toast is being used and it goes off because of the toast and the temperature is too high. And wee, 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 I'm swinging a towel. Turn on a fan. Goddamn kid. What did I tell you about touching that t I didn't do it. Nobody does it. But the temperature's up so high. My friggin' toast is burnt again. Some bitch. I'm swinging the toast to the uh, towel to get the friggin' smoke out of there. 
And it works, mind you. It works. So my reaction is night 2.30, 2.45 in the morning. I'm grabbing a freaking towel. Stringing it. Then I'm realizing, what the, I'm upstairs, stupid. Nobody's using a toaster. And there's no fire in this house. Mind you, around that time, my wife was smelling gas. Fire department came and did a gas check. She had a migraine. She always had migraines. And this maybe was either two weeks before or after. And migraines and pain. And I call them, they come, they take the meter. No gas. But I could have sworn I was kind of smelling it too. But no gas, no leaks, no nothing. So I'm up at 2.30 in the morning. This goes off for about two, three minutes. Or maybe just two minutes. It wasn't long. Then I'm sitting there as I'm standing there. And it shuts off. No smoke, no gas detected. No toaster, burnt toast. I'm standing there thinking, what the hell are you doing swinging a fucking towel, stupid? And it didn't dawn on me. Supernatural. So I put this video up. A month later, I get a comment. Sure and shit. And not in the beginning of this year or last year, I got another comment. Happened to another person. So, people, what do you think? I wish the stories would keep coming in on this. Here's another story with another smoke detector. As you see, goes off, unexplained, shuts off, stays off, and that's that. No fire, no smoke, no burnt bucket toast. No gas leak. What is it? No dead batteries. And if this damn smoke detector went off, and it don't look like to me it's properly working, that's even more insane. What is it? There's only one thing left, people. And if you don't believe, and if you think it's something else, and if you think you're going to sit in, change my story of this, you never will. I believe my mother got up in there and was trying to communicate with my father. <clears throat> Mind you also, when I got there, the night before this night, as you can see, lights are on. He's got a little light lamp I gave him, LED light, bright as hell. But, mind you, that was the only light he had on that house, in that house that night. Other than that, that place was pitch black. I walked in there like, what the hell is he doing? He wasn't even watching TV. Just had that one little lamp on. And that one LED light is all I use when I go out and ghost hunt off my phone. Bright as hell. Something about these LED lights, I believe, attract ghosts. Because they're bright as hell. And they're trying to get to the light. That's my thought, theories, ideas on that. And for the simple fact of walking in that house with my father and seeing him there with just that light on, bright as hell. I mean, these lights are bright too. Don't get me wrong. But there's no pitch blackness around it. And that's what counts. And when you sit there and say the dead of night and you have the light, only one light, not these bright lights, only one light in the dead of night. I believe that's how I attract ghosts. I know there's something there. So call me crazy. I don't care what anybody says. I'm right about something. And I know I attract ghosts. And for my father to sit there that night and have just that one light on, pitch black around him. He, too, attracted a ghost. But if it was my mother or not, I think it was. Like I said, her ashes set right over there in that bookshelf. And as you can see, bookshelf, smoke detector.
connection. And if that thing is still giving out power in some form or way, like the circuit energy they speak of, so you won't lose your lights in a thunder or lightning storm, just think what that bolt of energy is doing through your power system when it brings in a tracks ghost. <laughs> circuit surge or whatever they call it. Believe it, people, believe it. The ghosts are real. The surge of energy through your electricity is real. That's what electrifies the ghost to come forth. The darkness around the bright light is real. And if you do that, I believe you too could attract ghosts if you really believe. Till that next video, believe. That's all I got to say. And if you don't, you're a fool. Out.